Hello, welcome to another tutorial video. We're on the fourth one now in this series. Before I go into the question and then subsequently the other questions, I just want to give you a little bit of background about the actual exam. It's going to be two hours and 15 minutes, one hour for <clears throat> section B and one hour 15 minutes for section A. The reason you get slightly longer in section A is because you have to read and in the reading section you're going to have three items to read and they're going to be linked pieces of non-fiction. Linked means they're going to cover the same theme whether it's uh, recycling or mobile phone use or traveling etc etc and non-fiction means that it's going to be something like an advert or an article or a section of a memoir etc it's not going to be uh, um, a piece of fiction in terms of poetry or uh, a story etc you really want to focus on analyzing the language of newspapers primarily and adverts if I was going to say any of them and you're probably doing that anyway just reading newspapers etc but try and go through the newspapers bearing in mind questions um, like the ones you're going to see because in the new GCSE the great thing about it I think is that they've cemented the type of question and the marks per question so question one for as long as they choose not to change it is always going to be eight marks and it's always going to be a question on retrieving the key points being made so basically you're to read the item and retrieve the key points in like the question so what we've got here is uh, as we've only had two sets of exams about this uh, sorry two sets of exams for this what I've got here is the questions from both exams and you can see all the the sections that I've highlighted are mirrored what do you learn about something and what what do you learn about something and what so you know there are a couple of points that you're going to be picking out um, when referencing the first thing that's mentioned and then if possible the second thing that's mentioned as well and what do you learn is the setup for this question seemingly which is basically saying retell or tell again or make clear um, that's all you have to do it's it's the easiest part of the exam a lot of students <clears throat> spend a lot of time revising for this I just know in, in questions I've been asked in class of the in class over the years they always want to this is the purpose question you know, what's the purpose of something being given to you well, what are you supposed to learn from it what are you supposed to take from it and a lot of people always kind of get really hooked up on it uh, this is not the hardest question by a long way if I was going to concentrate my efforts on anything I'd concentrate on section four the only thing you have to do for this is you have to be able to follow points and arguments being made you have to pick out points relevant to the question you need to give four or six points with four to six points with evidence less than that would be less than four would be too little more than six would probably be too too vague you might not have answered if you're trying to get an A if you write six points well that's going to be more than enough you might think well because there's eight marks I need to write eight points it doesn't really work di directly like that if you pick out four and you have four excellent points you could still get the eight marks I'm told but uh, you can go safer with six just in case you're it depends how many you can pick out obviously don't feel pressured into into trying just to write as much as you can if you if you do think you pick up six things easily then just make sure that you've got the nuances and the and the depth in in what, what you're trying to pick out but try not to go because you'll generally find that there might be an umbrella point which other stuff comes under so you you can actually just mention that in the point rather than making a whole new point about it and we'll, we'll look at that when we look at the exemplar um, examples a little later on and then always try and use we have to use a quotation in whatever you're supporting and try and make sure it's embedded that's one of the thing that's going to mark your writing slightly higher now I just want you to think as you're going through anything um, with the examiner's point of view in mind so basically a C grade student is basically saying with their work I uh, sorry is basically saying uh, something to the examiner and the examiner will be looking at it and for a C he says well I can clearly see that you understand uh, for an A, I can clearly see that you can pick out the details 
Okay, now the details are really important. It's not just the argument itself, it's the detail. So if I were to talk about a, a car and you said, okay, can you see a car? And we walk into the street and you go, oh yeah, there's a blue car, there's a red car. I'd be like, okay, great. And then I said, pick up the details. And then if that confused you, then that's what you need to start building on. The detailing of a car could be spoilers, could be the way the um, alloy wheels are, it could be uh, perhaps the tread on the tire, could be the styling, could be a badge that's on it could be a crack could be anything the detailing might be in this car example might be something you know factory set something added or something um, you know of damage but you've got to pick up the details and then you've got to look into them with uh, the depth as well so everything you're doing in F or an A rather than a C is going to be details and depth so you just can you can go the extra mile you can you can look into it with more <clears throat> with with more of an analytical eye you, you can really understand and that's what you're trying to to get across so if I was to mention something that would probably be worth uh, keeping in mind for higher grades is to consider other relevant angles and to infer so as you're going through one of the key things that the yeah, chief examiners mentioned in both um, in both pieces of feedback he's written for the for question one he's mentioned that students have missed out on the counter arguments in the pieces says that's where some people have gone uh, come, uh, come a cropper they've come undone with that and students haven't inferred as much as they're able to when you're actually rewriting this that's your chance to actually infer and, and to drop in what y you're taken in by this you don't need to say I think this is but you just kind of mention the sum the summary of the feeling or the idea so as an example of this uh, what you might be picking up let's just say we've got um, the, an article and the articles on losing weight so for example we could just say this article is about losing weight the person is happy that they lost weight they lost weight because they ran a lot and that would be my three points that wouldn't really get me uh, even probably a C even though I'm showing some understanding I'm not showing any depth in detail or, or anything so perhaps in this uh, fictional example paragraph one and two were all about calorie counting and the experience in that and then about exercising and then perhaps there was an extreme element of stomach stapling as well in there so that's what we're looking for we're looking for more details how did they lose the weight what were the conditions involved etc if then perhaps it perhaps paragraph three and four talked about a morning routine where the person took supplements etc and then a night routine where after they put the child to bed that's when they went to the gym or something uh, if another parent was home um, and then you know how they kept it going during um, their holiday etc and how they looked at motivation etc again you're looking at all the details all of that comes under the banner of the umbrella of losing weight you know it all can count towards losing weight in 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 this context but you need to talk about the details and actually just pick out the the ideas and again as I say we're going to go through a C grade and a, an A grade uh, ex exemplar piece uh, sorry ex exemplar pieces and we'll, uh, we'll hopefully understand that a little bit more so paragraph 5 might be one of the might be where the arguments changed and I can still pick up on that um, so here it might be uh, about the insecurity that the person was feeling and the body image so this isn't directly to do with the how they lost the weight but it is to do with one of the fallouts of losing weight or one of the reasons for losing weight so it's still linked so you can see or make that connection and infer the link to losing weight that's actually come from this and then perhaps there's a final point in paragraph six and it's you know discussing how some people you know friends of this person you know writing their account uh, in this article might have just said you know he'd become obsessed and you know, they were worried about him etc and again that would be looking at it from a different um, a different angle etc and there's perhaps something to infer on that so the key points again for doing this remember it's always going to be eight marks you're always going to have to explain what you um, have picked up so you're retrieving the key points four to six points are all you'll need and always 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 use uh, quotations and try and embed uh, embed them as much as possible and uh, for the higher grades try and consider other relevant angles and what you can infer from this